Well, you're looking at the future right here. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Belair. WWE Universe, you are looking at a superstar who is simply blessed to be the best. Just naturally better than everybody else, even when only doing the bare minimum. You talk about some of that natural athletic talent, Corey. Bianca's been exceptional her entire life. She earned all SEC and all American honors in track and field at the University of Tennessee. And if you just ask her, she'll tell you why she's better than everybody else. You got eyes, Byron, you understand. A freak in the weight room, a beast in the ring. Bianca Belair can do it all. And she's got a lethal hair whip. It's Candice Wrestling! And her opponent, from Anaheim, California, Candice LeRae! I've figured out what the WWE Universe sees in Candice LeRae. They all feel bad for her. I feel bad. What are you talking about? She it's, is married to that nerd, Johnny oh, Wrestling. Like, just stop. No, they see someone, Corey, who is absolutely passionate about living out her dream job. It's a global pity party. You can feel the electricity hey. running through this arena. This is going to be some battle, one-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. When you have competitors on the level of these women, you just know it's going to be a great match. Beautiful technique. Dominating shoulder tackle. this thing. Pump the brakes a bit, Cole. I know exactly what you're thinking, and I can tell you with all certainty, she still has plenty of gas left in the tank. Candice LeRae with an easy kick out. Double axe handle smash. She's starting to stagger a bit. But she knew this match wasn't going to be easy. You know, she's the kind of competitor that actually likes getting hit. It motivates her. And this might just be what she needs to put her over the top, believe it or not. It's been quite the back and forth battle for these women, guys. And I'm willing to bet that's the way it's going to be the rest of the way. Ooh, what impact. Ladies and gentlemen, by now I'm sure you've heard Bianca Belair describe herself as the EST of NXT. Corey, what exactly does that mean? I'll break it down for you, Michael Cole. It simply means that Bianca Belair is the strong-ist, the fast-ist, the smart-ist, and the bad-ist around. Candice LeRae with an easy kick out. Corey, thank you for breaking down exactly what it means when Bianca Belair says she is the ist of NXT. But don't you think Bianca has a bit of an overinflated ego for somebody relatively new to the scene? Absolutely not, Saxton. Just ask top NXT stars like Candice LeRae or Lacey Evans if it was Belair's ego that beat them. Those were cases of Belair proving she truly is the ist of NXT. Impact. This capacity crowd starting to sense the end is near, and I don't disagree. Talking with Candice earlier, she half joked that her biggest challenge was keeping up with her husband, Johnny Gargano. Forget about Johnny Wrestling. Let's talk about Candice Wrestling. 
I commend Candace LeRae for clearly being the one that wears the pants in their relationship. She's talking about not one. Oh, no. We know what this is. You can see the confidence just being nailed. Wow, she's fought her way all the way back here. Cool. We got to cover. The pinfall and the victory. These ladies put on quite a show. Here's another gander. Here is your winner, Bianca Belair. Well, it's Bianca Belair, and she'll be walking away with the win tonight, guys. You know, it didn't happen often, but I can attest, being pinned is humiliating. Don't adjust your TV, folks. This Vegas crowd really is this loud.